Aries, what's going on with you guys for this upcoming week? For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. Hope all is well with you guys with this coronavirus pandemic. It's been a mess for sure. What's going on with my Aries? Aries. What's going on with Aries? Please show me messages for Aries. What's going on around Aries currently? What's going on around Aries? Eight of Cups. Leaving behind things that just are not serving you any longer. This Piscean energy. Um, just feeling full of whatever has transpired before your past. Being able to like let that go and move forward. This is what you guys are doing at this point. Things that are not fulfilling you. It's <clears throat> crossing my Aries. What are you looking forward to? Two of Swords. Making decisions. Making solid decisions. Um, trying to see things clearly. So you can move forward and move on here. That's Libra energy with the Two of Swords. Um, I feel like you guys have left something behind, but there's still some sort of roadblock for you guys and being able to make a decision about where you go from here. What's the underlying issue here for Aries? Two of Pentacles. This is all about um, figuring out what it is that you want to do. What's going to bring you stability? What's going to bring you peace of mind thus far? I feel like you've had a lot that you have been um, thinking about and trying to do. It's like so many things, so many ideas um, are flooding through your brain. And... Um, it's time to prioritize, I feel, for a lot of you. That's Capricorn energy. <clears throat> What's going on in the recent past for Aries? Judgment. I feel like a lot of you guys have made a decision about one part of your life. There's something that you have put to bed, is done. It's like it's over with that part. But there's something else that's going on right now since you have left something completely um, alone. There's something going on right now um, about where you go from here. Something's not clear. And I feel like you've kind of been all over the place. And you guys, some of you are all are still all over the place and not making a decision, not really seeing things clearly about um, your future. Okay. Crowning thoughts for Aries. Crowning thoughts for Aries. Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. whatever past decision that you have put to bed I feel like that was a struggle for you to put it to rest and you feel defeated there's a level of um, a, a feeling like you have been just battered and torn because of that situation that happened to you. You feel like it was a constant fight that somebody did not treat you right. And I feel like there's this level of suffering that's still kind of, you know, in, in the back of your, your mind that you've kind of compartmentalized away from everything. You just know that you have to leave it alone. And I feel like that's what you've done. But there's still like this lingering um, pain for you guys here. That's that Aquarius energy there. It's coming in for Aries. Page of Pentacles. This is you. 
taking baby steps basically um, and if I was gonna have a page it would be the pinnacle okay because pinnacles are solid they're stable and I feel like you're making your way towards something stable doing new things stepping out on faith um, there could be an apology on a table for some of you guys here there could be an apology coming from an earth sign. How is Aries feeling about this current situation? Seven of Swords is what's best for you. You feel like you're doing what's best for you. That um, it doesn't matter how that other person feels. It doesn't matter if they don't want you to move on. It doesn't matter if, if they still want you to think about them. They still want you to lend them your time because you're not. You're not. I think you're done with the being indecisive. I think you're done with having your, your thoughts clouded by this person. I think you're over that. That's also Aquarius energy. You're just tired of thinking about it. Okay. What is the influence here for Aries? Nine of Pentacles. I did a reading um, right before this one for you guys. For some reason it didn't record. But in that reading, the Nine of Pentacles came in the same exact spot for you guys. I feel that um, you guys are very independent very independent and I feel like that's what you're finding comfort in is being independent being um, taking care of yourselves uh, taking care of your health taking care of your outer appearance and you're finding solace in that you're concentrating on that okay and I think that's something new for you guys not that you haven't cared about yourself not that but I think that is a focal point right now because that's that's kind of what's driving you. Because other thinking about this person that has brought such instability and it invades your thoughts a lot. So if you can concentrate your thoughts on you and only you and your singlehood and and how you improve upon yourself then that's going to help you to not feel so conflicted about what happened with this person before and i feel like there's definitely an apology that's coming in from um an earth sign could be a virgo capricorn taurus um or somebody that, that just has that energy uh, either stubborn or just very financially focused okay not so emotional um, type of person okay hopes or fears for Aries hopes or fears for Aries six of Pentacles I feel like you guys want somebody that you can spend your time with. I just don't feel like um, you're at a point where you, you are wanting to give all of yourself to a relationship. I feel like you guys are definitely not trying to play the field. Um, and you want somebody that can reciprocate what it is that you are giving to them. I just don't know if you're really at the point where you are willing to give this person a lot of your emotional self that's Taurus energy there the six of Pentacles <clears throat> what is the outcome here for Aries outcome for Aries nine of swords that is being all up in your head that's that you have two nines now and you had two nines in the other reading as well this is all about you um i feel like with this nine of swords energy whatever it is that's happening this is not a real state of being okay 
I kind of feel like some of you are hiding behind this whole being independent and single thing because you're afraid you're going to get hurt. You're afraid that um, this is a new situation for some of you guys here. You're afraid that this is going to be something um, that happens like what happened before. There's a new person coming in. There's a new person coming in for some of you guys. And you're really not sure about them. You're really not seeing things clearly here. And I do feel like right now you're concerned only with yourselves. I feel this person does want to work with you. This person wants to spend time with you. And I feel like it's going to have you all in your head because you're going to wonder, is this going to happen um, the same way that my, my other relationship panned out? Or is this person going to cheat on me? Is this person going to um, be mean to me? Or, you know... I feel like whoever this new person is that's coming in could be a Gemini as well. Um, Gemini Taurus energy. But I feel like you guys are really going to... This, this person is going to make you uncomfortable. Because I feel like the whole uh, being vulnerable thing is not a comfortable state for you guys to be in at this point. This person takes you off guard. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon.